Good afternoon, everyone. This is Mary from Minbei Machinery. Today, I will introduce you a shelf panel production line, which will be finished soon and shipped overseas recently. So, um, and worth mentioning that this production line can make different sizes of shelf panels. And uh, now you can see, this is one completed shelf panel. So, the main procedure of it is the reformer we form the left and the right side of the shelf panel and the bending machines will, will bend the up and the down two sides of the shelf panel. So a shelf panel is a very important component in our warehouse system. It's to support the goods on it. And in this case, it will require a certain level of the strength. Okay, now back to our machine. So the whole production line will include the decoiler and then the servo, the servo feeder and the uh, punch press system, the pre-cart and the uh, transfer, transfer platform which is not shown here. Of course the whole line will be over 15 millimeters and uh, of course the factory's area limited is not shown in this video. And uh, then the reforming part and uh, the size bending machines, then the final out tables. Okay, now let's take a look on it. So for each production line, we will start with an uncoiler. And here we adopt a 5-ton hydraulic decoiler. The biggest advantage of a hydraulic decoiler is it can keep the machine work smoothly and steadily. Also, it can help us to save the manpower costs. And next to it, you can see so the material used here is, the thickness of it is 0.6 to 1.2 and uh, the yield strength of it is over 300 MPa. So in this case, uh, a leveler will be necessarily needed when the strength is, is high. And you can see this is not an independent leveler, it's an integrated leveler. It requires smaller area and, and it can be more affordable too. Uh, so. And then you can see on the ground, there is a limit sensor here. If the coil is too long, it will touch the limit sensor. Then the hydraulic decoiler will stop to feeding the coil and in this way to avoid the damage to the coil and the machine. Okay, so next to the leveler, it will come to our servo feeder. And uh, it is a very important component when, we, when our customers have speed required or the yield requirements. Uh, it can let the production line speed be more faster. And uh, it's equipped with a separate hydraulic station and the PLC board too to control the speed and the length of it. Then it's the press system, it's hydraulic press system and you can see there are two main you can see there are two main procedures. This is for pump the holes on the steel and the next to it these four for, for is for punch the breaches on the coils. And also you can see there are one, two, three, four, there are four steps for it. Also, there you can see the hydraulic valves here. There are only three. So the question is why? I can, I can tell you, one is for punch the hole. And the, the second one is for the pre-cart next to it and then I will introduce later and the third one is for punching the breaches of it we can unplug the we can unplug the the other three hydraulic cylinders when the one size is used so so to make a automatic effect of it and uh, you can see so this production line can produce multi sizes and uh, you can see here and uh, here they can move backward and uh, forward to adjust to the material size changes 
so next to the pump press system. And here we adopt a pre hydraulic pre-cart. Usually a high pre-cart used is for save the most cost when we have multi-sizes profiles to produce. And also when we change the material thickness and the, the, uh, and the materials, we can, it's more easily for us to. And the, the hydraulic pre-cart and the punch press and the servo feeder, those three, they are used the same hydraulic station and the same PLC board to control the length and the speed. And the, after the pre-cart, it will come to our transport platform, which has two oil cylinders on both sides. This is for control. This is to press, put the pressure and the tension on the steel, and uh, to make it more tightly when it become when it comes to next step. So, uh, the transfer platform is like a buffer to adjust and balance the speed between the pre-cart and the former in this way to avoid the improper speed difference and may lead to a formation failure. As for our main reforming part, this is a wall panel chain drive cantilever structure. The wall panel structure is always very popular all around the world in this industry for its very cheap and uh, more affordable and uh, very stable too. You can see several rods here to support the two wall panels between it. And uh, the chain drive mode is a very traditional power transmission mode. It has no elastic slide and uh, skid to maintain the accurate average uh, retail and the compacted structure. Also, it can work in very hard conditions like oil, oil, oil pollution and uh, high temperatures, which is very common in our workshops, especially in summer. And uh, also, the installation and the maintenance requirement is quite low, which is favorable in our COVID-19 situation now. And uh, so this production line is equipped with an automatic sizes uh, adjust function. Here you can see several motor here. Here, it's for control. It's for control the. It's for supply the power to the automatic adjustment function. The gather wheel here you can see. When they change the data on the PLC board, it will, it will move backward or forward automatically in this way, both on width and the height, and in this way to have an automatic effect. Uh, then after our reforming part, it will come to our twice bending machines. You can see this shelf panel the four sides, they all need to be folded. And the row forming part is to form the two sides, the left and the right sides. And the up and the down, those two sides are formed, are bended by the bending machine. So here, the first bending machine is for bend the, this part, this line, and this line, the two lines, the two sides of it. And then the next bending machine is for bend those, this one and, the, and the, this and the, this side. There are the two lines of it. And in this way, to fold the four sides of the shelf panel. And also, so we see this is when we change the size of the profile, the bending machines will also change the sizes corresponding the sizes changing. You can see there are guide reels here and also the second one, it's the same. So and in this way to have a whole line automatic size change effect. Okay. And then it's the out tables.
So this is the whole line about our chef panels. You can see the completed chef panel. I think it's very beautiful, right? And uh, you may be worried about the installation and the commission about the machine because it's very big and uh, maybe a little difficult for you uh, by yourself. There is no worry for that. We will debug the machine before leaving the factory and make sure it can produce in time when it arrives in your country. And also, we will offer you a menu of use and uh, installation videos. And our after CO service is always online for 24 hours. And uh, the warranty time for you is five years for the motor power and two years for the whole line. And uh, a lifetime after CO service. We are always here. And uh, if you have any questions, you can always come to us and ask, ask me. Ask us, yes. And uh, mm, so if you are interested, please subscribe our YouTube channel and uh, for our further cooperation. Thank you, goodbye.